So first of all, we don't believe the vaccine is the mark of the beast. Let me just put it out there, okay? It's not a mark of the beast. Um, could it be maybe one day perhaps the Antichrist is gonna take advantage of that, see how people are easily uh, pushed into that, maybe perhaps. The reason why it's not a mark of the beast because according to Revelation, mark of the beast is a mark that is closely tied to the worship of the beast. Mark of the beast is a mark of loyalty and devotion to the beast. No one is going to take the mark of the beast accidentally. It's going to be willfully and everyone who will take it will take it knowingly. Okay, it's not this is going to be a willful loyalty to the beast. In fact before the mark of the beast scripture in Revelation 13 it talks about the seal of the lamb. So we put so much focus on the mark but Bible actually talks about the seal first and nobody gets the seal of the lamb an accident. In fact it's not even physical. The Bible doesn't even say there's going to be physical mark of that seal of the lamb. It's that when you're loyal to the lamb, to Jesus Christ, he marks your life. And then the devil who is not a creator but a copycat and a duplicator, he comes up with the mark, which most likely will be similar to the seal because they will always pervert what God does. Okay, so please relax. Okay, if you want to take one, that vaccine, you take it. If you don't want to take one, make sure you don't use that it's mark of the beast. Now, could this be a setup for what's going to happen with the mark of the beast? Probably. So is the chip on your cell phone and on your credit card. It's a setup. Everything is a setup. <laughs> Remember the end times, it's not end for us. There is no end for us. There's end for the darkness, death, sickness, devil, demons. That's their end, not ours. So Christians, chill. Now with that said, so that I made one group happy, now, now let me make the other group happy. My goal is to make both groups a little bit upset and a little bit relieved. Do I encourage vaccines? No. Do I discourage vaccines? No. It's your decision, not ours. It's not our place to tell you who you should vote for and it's not my place to take what you should do when it comes to this issue. Now one of the reasons there is a hesitancy with this particular vaccine among people in our church, myself included, it's not because we have a hesitancy toward vaccines overall. It just usually it takes the fastest vaccine that was made from what I've read about is took five years. A vaccine that was produced in five or six months scared the living lights out of people. Yeah. Even the rats didn't have a chance to die from it. <laughs> I know the moment this, this video can be flagged and if you post anything about it they will say yes it's being tested. On who? On us! We're the, we're the, we're the rats in the lab right now. I am not against judging or condemning. This is not a political statement. I'm just stating the facts. Facts don't care about our feelings. That this has been developed really fast. Now I'm glad it's being developed because we at least can go eat and in some places remove our masks and so to some degree I'm glad they're pushing really hard and they're working really hard but we got to be very honest. Most of us in here who are under 35 years of age according to the statistic is we have a 99% chance survival from this disease and 90% of us had it which means our bodies develop immunity. Our body developed these things in them that vaccine supposed to provide. So it just makes it very difficult to say, hey, get another dose of what I technically kind of got last year already by going naturally through that. And so just because people are hesitant toward taking it right now, it doesn't mean that a lot of people will be hesitant completely to take it in the future once it gets perfected and actually gets approved by FDA. So with that said, as a local church, we've had a situation we're not against vaccines. If that's what you, we have people on our board, we have people on our team who take them and, and God bless your soul. What we're against is when the government begins to mandate it. Now for those of you who are like, oh my God, this is the anti-vax church. Chill. Hold on for one second. One second. Imagine if everyone was forced to eat peanuts. 
While majority of the population would be fine, there would be people who would die and be severely harmed if they ate peanuts. Much like the vaccine, not everyone's body is responding well and some people have died. While rare, it is still something that is happening. Mandating this vaccine is a medical tyranny and it can, it can and it will kill people. While there are tests to see if somebody is allergic to peanuts, there are no tests to see if your body is allergic to this vaccine. With that said, a lot of people passed away who even doctors would say could have survived if they would have had vaccine. And the other side is also true. There are people who passed away the moment they got the vaccine. With that said, why am I saying this? If it's in your conviction that you don't want to take it and you feel like, hey, my body is good. I already, I'm a young person and your work is forcing that. Uh, we worked with the attorneys this week and we have a letter that we will give you as a member of the church what legally protects you from being fired at your church, uh, at your church, at your, you're not going to be fired at your church. Uh, the legally protects you um, in your workplace. Again, we offer, we'll only offer that to the members who serve. We're not going to offer that just to anybody because part of the deal there is I have to sign that you serve under the, um, uh, the, um, the, 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 like, pre, the, pretty much you can throw me in jail if it's not true. <laughs> So I don't want to go to jail. Okay. And so that's why, so people, the moment I posted online, you know, literally how many people reached out, pastors reached out and show. And so if you go to a local church that's not here, we can share those documents with you. Uh, we're not going to force it. But if you feel that, hey, I don't feel comfortable. I have my personal convictions on that. As a church, our goal is to uh, protect that freedom. And we will provide that letter. I'll sign it. But only to the members who serve. The rest of the people who are visiting, uh, join membership. One of the perks of membership. But the reason why is because we have to be able to actually, you know, say that as, as, as a congregation. We see you serving. We know who you are versus just um, a random person just coming in. And so with that said, we're praying. I know people who took vaccine um, and they're doing fine. Um, and I know people who did take it and the doctors would tell them if they would have taken it things would have been better for them so when it comes to should you take it should you not I think it's your personal decision it's between you um, and your doctor you and your and the Lord and your consciousness but as a church our stance is that we don't believe it's the mark of the beast at least not right now I asked every person who took a vaccine I asked them hey did you uh, pledge your allegiance to the beast did, did, was there like a small print they're like no and so I'm like, okay I'm just, it's, it's not mark of the beast okay and we just personally I just don't like when and it's forced especially in this kind of a stage for people to get vaccinated against a disease that has a 99% survival rate for somebody uh, of my age and so that's that's what we're not for and not just with the vaccine with anything if the government pushes it like that um, we we have a God uh, we're Christians and uh, our government is not our king we respect it, we pay our, our taxes, we obey the laws, uh, but there comes things where they intrude on our freedom that um, I understand they want to protect us. Uh, there are certain things you're going to have to live with risks. When you get in a car, you have a risk of, of getting in a car accident. When you get into the airplane, you have a risk of the planing, uh, plane um, exploding. When you get married, you have a risk of <laughs> getting somebody break your heart. When you get kids, you have a risk. Actually, it's not a risk, it's a proven fact. They will break your heart many times. <laughs> We still do that and so there's certain risks we live with and America what I love the country for is the land of the free and home of the brave. After the COVID honestly it seems like it's the land of cowards and home of people who are just scared and we don't want to lose our freedoms because of pandemic, because of terrorism, we want to want to lose our freedom because of nothing. We want to be people who are free. We were created to be free. 